tell me about this uh, uh, Paint Chaffee Pink, um, a brand new event. What is this thing all about? Well, Darren, for the last three years, since 2019, we haven't had a breast cancer awareness event in, in Fort Smith and Western Arkansas, Eastern Oklahoma. And so what we're finding now is we're coming out of the pandemic and women are starting to get their mammograms again. They took a break or maybe they couldn't get one, you know, all kinds of reasons. And now what we're finding are there are advanced cases of breast cancer being detected. And so that's just not acceptable. And so a group of breast cancer survivors like myself, we kind of got together and we said, let's do something. And so it's been a pretty short time frame that we've turned it around, but we are going to host the very first ever Paint Chappie Pink. And it is, we're going to start small this year with a brunch and we're going to have a fashion show and we're going to have a film about the services at the Reynolds Cancer Support House in Fort Smith because they serve people all over Western Arkansas and Eastern Oklahoma, free services, education and things of that nature. And so we, the, our, our proceeds and our sponsorships are going to benefit the Cancer Support House, but we've got big plans for future years. So, but we're going to start, we're, we're making it simple. It's a $20 registration fee and they can register online on Eventbrite, or they can shoot us an email at paintchappypink at gmail.com and just let us know they're coming and they can pay at the door. So to have a, an event like this, it does more, it, I'm assuming it's going to do more than just bring awareness to breast cancer. You we're we're going to go pretty, pretty simple with it. Yeah, this is M. Marie Salon and Boutique is uh, helping us with this. And uh, we're just going to choose like five or six survivors. And, you know, we're going to, like I said, I mean, it's been a pretty short turnaround time, you know, on our time frame. And so we're just kind of cramming a whole bunch of fun things in together. And we've got, we've got, uh, I believe we have Girl Scouts that are coming that are going to be presenting the flags. It's really good to get involved and in, girls involved in all of these types of things at all ages. And the Delta, uh, Delta Sigma Theta, no, Delta Beta Sigma, I think those girls are coming and they are actually helping us with the door prizes, getting them all organized and they're going to be our runners that day. Then we have uh, Melissa Sykes with the Reynolds Cancer Support House going to say a few mm -hmm. words. Brandon Goldsmith was our lone man on our committee. He's with the River Valley Film Society. And he came in to our very first meeting wearing, wearing his pink shorts. So he was all supportive right from the get-go. But we couldn't have done this without the River Valley Film Society because they allowed us to be able to um, have some business structure that we were able to utilize. And it fits into their uh, premise and the, in their whole goal and mission, because we're actually going to show the film about the Cancer Support House and their services. And so this is a really cool integration of people from all over the community. Mm -hmm. And then we have, we, we wanted to have a guest note, a, a keynote speaker. So Dr. Daniel Merce, uh, Mackey from Mercy Oncology here in Fort Smith is going to be our keynote speaker. So, and Golden Corral is sponsoring the brunch. And so, you know, it's it's got echoes of things we've done in the past mm -hmm. with Paint the Park Inc., but it's different. And this is a little more inclusive event. This is open to anybody in the community, not just survivors, because our goal is awareness and education. We would we want to get that word out there and to make younger younger women aware of the need to have a mammogram and have it every year. Don't miss, don't miss. And if you're too young to have one, that's fine. Tell your mama, tell your grandma, tell your aunts, and tell you know the other your friends, people you work with, and be an advocate for people because we have to be our own health mm -hmm. advocates. To that point, with the three years of the last two or three years, obviously with the pandemic, how much do you think of a re-education does there need to still be to get women back into that process of doing the yearly mammogram and, and reminding each other to do this? Because haven't been able to do it the last couple of years. It's true, and, and oh, how easily we forget. And I think there's a lot of work to be done for to bring it back to the forefront for awareness. So I actually have a challenge for your viewers. 
we called this paint chaffy pink and really it's just kind of a it was a simple thing easy to do and this is where we're we're having this first event but it could be paint downtown pink in coming years it could be paint greenwood paint alma paint you know van buren pink we're going to, you know, we've got the idea that we're going to be able to move this around and this is going to be an ongoing effort, but we also want to challenge. I got two challenges for your viewers. Number one, put a pink ribbon around the railing of your, for your business, around the sign to your business during the month of October and help us increase this awareness across the entire region. Number two, if you have one of those signs that's out in front of your business and it's a message board and you can, whether it's digital or whether it's got those snap in letters, help us put a pink ribbon in it or put a message like had your mammogram yet or, you know, get your mammogram or don't forget your mammogram or something simple to remind people as they go about their daily lives to this is a really serious health concern because one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. And that is just unacceptable. So let's catch it early because it's easier to treat. And sometimes the treatments are not so bad if we catch it early. So get those mammograms. As a survivor yourself, you're more attuned to these, the, to these issues and these reminders. And again, because we haven't had those reminders in the last couple of years. That is true. It's been 17 years for me, and my passion for getting this message out really hasn't diminished much um, because I, I'm still meeting women all the time who are, you know, have been diagnosed. In fact, a lady called me today about tickets, and she is on her third time to have breast cancer. Mm -hmm three times in her life and her sister had it as well. Another young woman called me today. She's 22 years old and she lost her mother when she was 13 to breast cancer. So, you know, we, we really can't start young enough. We need young girls being aware of this and we need, you know, young adult women and, you know, women of all ages really. All right, October 1st at 9.30 in a place that I've not heard of, although it's been there a while under a different name, the View Venue. Explain where this is. This is in the Chaffee Crossing Historic District. It's right in the middle of, of the district. It was a, a former military theater, and it was right next to a PX and a beer garden back in the day. And so it's been renovated. And the owner is Dan Hill, and he is a great guy, and he's opened up his doors for us on that Saturday morning. And you're going to really enjoy the venue itself, plus the food's going to be good, the relationships and the friendship building is going to be good, the entertainment's going to be good. We've just got all kinds of fun things planned, because I think we want to broaden this, as I mentioned earlier, we want to broaden it. And, you know, it's not at least this year, it's not just for survivors because we need to reach a broader group of people. And so we will honor survivors, absolutely. And that's a part of what we'll be doing. And we've got pink t-shirts for the survivors. So, you know, those of us that have gotten, you know, the t-shirts over the years from other breast cancer events, this is, this one will go into the stack to make a t-shirt quilt someday. <laughs> But, um, you know, men and women alike, we, we have some men that are already registered to come. And so, you know, come and bring your friends, bring your daughters. If you're in healthcare and you're a warrior in the fight against breast cancer, by all means, we want you to come and, and uh, celebrate with us and, um, you know, just really get inspired to be a part of this movement. And again, there's a Facebook page that I looked up, uh, a Paint Chaffee Pink Facebook page, has a lot of information on there as well. Yes, and um, I, I would be remiss not to give a shout out to Turnkey Construction, ArcVest Corporation, Radiologist PA, and Radiology Services PA, because they are our presenting sponsors. But the list gets long, and I just found out a little bit ago that Channel 5, KFSM TV 5, is also our media sponsor, and we're very thankful for that. And, um, you know, that's what it takes, but we're, we have plans to grow this event, 
who knows what next year's you know schedule of events might include but you know we're of course we're thinking about a walk run and maybe even a nighttime event like a ticketed event with a band or something can't you imagine pink lights in the trees or something <laughs> really fun like that and get younger people involved and uh so anyway we've got we've got big plans but we're we're hoping to give a nice gift to the the donald w reynolds cancer support house to help them with their outreach and their programs and their education <clears throat> let me know and, about that nighttime event if you do that because i'd be down to wearing a pink suit there's <laughs> yeah pink suit or a hat or shoes <laughs> some kind of competition you know and uh, everybody loves good music so you, oh, you yeah. can't go wrong uh, but, and wouldn't it be nice to have a nice fall event under the trees and, and pink lights and good music floating through the air and good food. So we're, we're going right. to keep working. Lori, thank you so much. Have fun October 1st. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. Appreciate you guys.